Hello everyone, my name is Luminita and there are so many of you who ask me um, how do I create my presentations, uh, what websites I use, what are my to-go websites when uh, I have to create a presentation for, for my university or for a project of mine. And um, there are many, many resources that um, I searched through um, in some websites I was um, disappointed, in some applications I was disappointed, some I think are the best but today I want to present you five basics basic websites or basic um, softwares that I always use when I have to create a presentation I always go to these five websites and I always create the most um, innovative the most interesting the most creative presentations Ever. If you want to know all my secrets when it comes to presentation, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. And the very first website that I really want to talk about is Canva. I use this website all the time when I need to make a presentation because first of all, um, if I have no inspiration at all, they have amazing templates and I'll show you all of this in a couple of seconds. Second of all, it's super user-friendly, so you don't need any um, design, technical, IT knowledge in order to work with Canva. And third of all, it's free of charge, it's accessible to everyone. Of course, there are some add-ons that you can pay for, but if you don't want to do, um, if you don't want to pay any cent, you don't have to. And I think the fourth reason for that is um, that it's super quick, so if, for example, I forgot about about a presentation but it has to be done and it has to be beautiful then instead of going to PowerPoint I will always go to Canva so let's dive in and quickly I'll quickly show you what Canva is if you had no if you have no idea what I what this website is and um, here you can find everything uh, I usually create my thumbnails in Canva as well you can create some Instagram posts logos um, Instagram stories many many things but for today we will go to presentations and uh, over here as i told you you can have so many different designs that have so that are so so different and distinct from each other and uh, on very different topics already customized for example you can talk about if you need to talk about vaccines or um, the art of courage or maybe you need to talk about um, english social media um, time management so really if for example you have a topic that you have to present on let's say time management hacks and you have no idea what you can talk about canva is even helping you with that by the way this video is not sponsored at all so just to be clear it's my real honest recommendation um so canva is helps you even with that because here if you can click on it you can see that there is already text in here so um, I would now recommend you to just take the presentation from Canva and present it to uh, a forum or to your class because that's uh, not a good at all but um, it's an inspiration for you maybe you can see okay these are these graphs and that and um, I think it's beautiful and by the way you can animate everything for example over here you want it the text to be in blocks uh, or to rise and then um, let's say when you present it let's go to the different slide here and then you when you move to the other slide it moves see and and on the top and uh, what I really think what I really like about Canva is that you can download a presentation and then um, transport it or send it or you can present on the platform itself and uh, if you present on the platform itself the mouse um, you can see it so basically when you present something you can show as you can see um, in this text or uh, as you can see in this text, as you can see in this picture and so on and I think it's super practical free of charge um, super quick you can uh, even um, share um, the presentation with someone and work together um, I talked about Canva thousand millions of times on my Instagram uh, account and on my YouTube channel but um, it's really when I um, don't feel inspired or if I um, lack ideas or if I lack time 
my go my first go-to website is definitely Canva. The second website that I want to talk about is uh, I think the discovery of 2021 for me personally. I know that this website is uh, there online for longer but um, I didn't know about it and I'm so so happy and glad that it was recommended to you to me um, and it's story set and um, I saw things from story set somewhere else and I was always wondering oh that's so cool I wish though I could find the initial source and I did so story set is perfect because um, okay you cannot create the presentations in here but you can find all these illustrations of different people um, in here and um, you can actually search for something that you need let's say your presentation is about social media you can write social media and you can see so so many um, illustrations that will help you and they by the way they're all free of charge so let's say you liked really this one you can change the color here on the right side um, let's say my whole presentation the color of my whole presentation is blue um, dark blue let's say this kind of blue okay perfect then um, if you you can um, change the color of the character let's say you need it darker because um, you are presenting about yourself or a specific character that you use in your presentation and also if for example you li really like it but you don't need the icons necessarily on the right side over here you can remove them or put them back you can remove the speech bubble or maybe you don't need the character at all so you can remove the character from the picture and then you can download it as a png if you don't know what it is it's um, an icon or an illustration without the white background that you can see it here or you can save it as an um, vector which means that uh, if you work with uh, this illustration let's say in Adobe Illustrator you can actually move things around even the icons in this icon you can make for example um, oops you can make um, the icons a little bit further away from each other or the speech bubble or you can uh, move the character to a different side so it's 100% customizable and I love it because um, if you have a presentation you can actually if you look here on the button you can see some names um, and this one is from um, this series so in the next for example you use this icon but then now you need an icon about love um okay okay we are if on the um, left hand side you can see again these names and we use this one so you can use actually icons that are from the same category in order for this presentation to look even more organic and uh, beautiful together so i think um, and again also with this one you can change the color to the one that you used before maybe you don't need the live portion maybe you don't want the sparkles or the smoke it can customize it however you want um, and i think it's again super easy to uh, work with it's free of charge and it will definitely believe me from my experience it will definitely um, um, elevate and make any presentation much better much more interesting and uh, much more attractive for the others to look about the third website i already talked on this channel you can check out this video there um, are even more websites with free templates for your presentations which are really 100% um, free of charge um, this video is super popular so definitely go and check it out there but today I want to mention slides go once again because it's such a life changer together with with canva um, because if you go to it you can find so many templates mm much <laughs> there are so many more than on canva and the difference is that on canva you can work with the presentation on the website with slides go no but you can find 
so many things and you uh, I have talked about this in the other video what I really love is that you can filter out everything by the color for example orange you need an orange presentation that is minimalistic um, and then you can you, you see all of this you can change the colors and see for example you have an economic thesis you can preview it okay looks nice mm, no I don't like it um, maybe this one about social media oh I really like it you can preview it um, and uh, you can go and um, transfer this template either to PowerPoint or to Google Slides uh, and then in the other two programs work and customize and change everything um, also on the website you can see um, some uh, related presentations maybe you like something something else and uh, what I really really like about it and why I would really recommend you to use um, this website is for the Google Slides extension let's make a copy in there but let's use this one um, here as I, as I told you you can customize everything um, from the text um, to the slides maybe you don't need this slide deleted and what I really really like about Google Slides is that it's um, maybe it's not that so 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 extended as PowerPoint maybe it doesn't have so many features as PowerPoint um, which can be a disadvantage in some cases but if you need a straightforward if you're looking for shortcuts in, li in, in life especially when it comes to presentations slides go is um, the cherry on the top because um, from slides go you can go to Google slides and um, customize everything in here and by the way if you look at this one maybe it looks familiar to you they also use everything from um, um, story um, set so yeah you can have it already infiltrated in them, some templates. And what I really, really like about SlidesGo, and uh, this is, I think, such a big advantage of this, this website and the templates from that is um, if you go on the, at the end of the presentation, you can see what colors that were used, what uh, kind of um, uh, icons. It's written story set by Freepeak, as I, I already showed you what um, story set is and um, you can also use different icons from the that are given um, extra for example with the marketing icons you can copy paste them to your presentation you can change the color the size so there are so many free of charge resources that you can get from um, slides go that um, it's it's a pity if you never ever think about using it especially again if you don't have so much time or you're not the creative per person or you just want this presentation to be done but you want it to be nicely done then uh, slides go is the to go <laughs> website for you a different website that i am in love with <laughs> i know this for already a couple of years actually i talked about this website when i was um, telling you about pacha kucha by the way if you're interested in that there is an entire playlist about pacha kucha you can check it out here and over there i was talking about my two go websites for stock pictures that are free of charge i'm a student i don't have money and time to waste on um, pictures so I really love I have a, a top three favorite websites uh, I talked about them in my Petri Kucha series but uh, today I want to talk about the most basic uncomplicated easy to use website for stock pictures free of charge stock pictures and this is of course Pixabay and what I love about this website is um, that you can actually filter out and search for pictures meaning for um, for um, photos or some vector graphics and I told you before vector graphics are the one that if you download them you can um, put them in other programs such as Adobe Illustrator and then actually work with the picture so you can change things change the colors the sizes and so on Illustrator illustrations are usually the PNGs and you can also search for videos even stock videos so let's say we have a presentation and you have a presentation and you really want to make a video or have a video 
about um, food. And um, here you can see the preview of the video on the, um, on the left side. Okay, maybe we don't like that. Oh, here's some cooking um, going on. I think it's, um, or this one, it's a presentation of food. Everything is free of charge and um, everything is so easy to use and to download. You don't even have to create an account because I know some websites require tell you that these are free of charge, but then you have to create an account and Pixabay is so much easier. And the last website that uh, I would like to talk to you about is not connected to uh, pictures nor um, slides, nothing in that. It's connected to music, good, free of charge, license free music. And um, sometimes in some presentations, maybe you want some background music or you need it for a video and uh, you'll never um, guess what a website I'm talking about. It's actually the website that you are using to watch my video right now. It's YouTube because YouTube has this beautiful thing called audio library. And if you go to your channel, let me show you how you access it. You go on YouTube, you go... Oh my God, this cool what? thing with a lot of... Sorry. <laughs> you go to your YouTube studio and um, on the left side, the last one, audio library, you can find so, so many free songs or sound effects let's say and you can actually filter it out which makes everything so much easier you can filter it out it out by the genre by the mood by the duration uh let's say i want a song in a um, very dramatic mood so uh, i apply this and i can see so many songs in different genres um dance and like electronic ambient hip hop and rap any everything in some dramatic mood and uh, you can uh, actually download them for free and use it for free you can just download it and use it however you want it to use especially if um, this is what i do for example many times even in this video there is a background song that is um not you don't really notice it but it gives this whole um, video a specific atmosphere and it makes everything sound and look much nicer so yeah these were the five actually the six websites that i always they are my to-go websites when i have to create a presentation be it for a university for work for any project i use this website sometimes even for my youtube videos they're all completely free of charge some of them have some add-ons but you don't have to pay for them for the majority of them, you don't even need um, an account. I really, really want you to know about these websites because they're so easy and cool. Again, nothing sponsored. These are really the websites that I personally use. And um, so far, so far, nobody ever said that my presentations were boring or uncreative or um, not to the point. That's why um, if this video was helpful for you, if you didn't know about these websites, give this video a thumbs up. Also leave a comment in the comment section below what website you didn't know about or maybe you have your personal favorite websites that you want to share with us. Don't forget to click on the bell button to get notified every single time when such a useful video comes up. You can also click here and here to learn even more tips and tricks, my personal tips and tricks about presentations and public speaking here to join my growing community. Remember that communication builds connections and miscommunication builds a mess. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.